Hello, Wood Daily Dinah families. My name is Emma Tates and I am the Children's Ministry Director here. And I have some important information in this video that I'd love for you to tune into and watch so that you are best prepared for Wood's Kids to relaunch on September 6th. We here at Wooddale are being extremely cognizant of the different protocols and guidelines that are being released each and every day um, from our state government and as well as our national government and the CDC guidelines. So we have put together a plan that we are confident is gonna be keeping your child safe and secure in our Woods Kids spaces. In a minute, I'm gonna be walking you through just our check-in process, our drop-off process and our pickup process, as well as looking at the rooms and just showing you the different capacities of the rooms that we will be using, which are different from a typical Sunday morning here at Woods Kids. But before that, I want to let you know about some of the things that we're doing um, on the front end to keep your child safe and secure in our Woods Kids spaces. And first is that during our check-in process, we will be having someone there with a mask, of course, and as well as gloves at both of our kiosks that we will be utilizing for check-in. Um, and then there will also be shields there between um, you and that check-in person to maximize our space. Another thing is that all of our volunteers will be wearing face masks. That is to ensure that, again, we are keeping your child safe, we are keeping our volunteers safe during this time. Everything will be sanitized prior to your child coming into our services. Um, that would be, at, of course, at our first service at 9 o'clock a.m. as well as our 1030 service. So between those, um, those two services, we will be sanitizing everything. We'll actually be pulling out different toys for the new uh, crew to come in at that 1030 service. And then of course, all of those toys will be sanitized thoroughly uh, before our next services come the following week. As well as uh, sanitizing toys, we'll be sanitizing all of our surfaces and our chairs, our tables, everything in between to make sure that um, children are staying safe um, stay, staying secure, like I've said before, um, in our services and in, in our programming. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me an email um, and we can answer those questions for you as well. I'd also love to hold um, various forums on Zoom, of course, um, to answer any questions that you may have and the other people may have as well. But without further ado, let's do a walkthrough of our space and see what it's all about. Okay, so you will walk into the front doors here and there'll be two check-in kiosks, one here and one right here. If you have a child in, your, in the elementary program or in the nursery, you'll check in at this kiosk. And once you finish, you'll go up the stairs. And if you have a child in the pre-K program, you will go to this kiosk and then proceed downstairs to those rooms. Okay, so we are going to pretend that we um, have someone in the pre-k program and just so you know you will only be allowed to have one parent per household dropping off and picking up your child so like I said before you'll check in here at a kiosk that will be there with plexiglass barrier between you and the person checking in and then you'll proceed down these stairs here okay so here we are in the south hall this will be the pre-k a room so your child will be coming into this room the, the total capacity of this room is 16 children there'll be eight on this side of the barrier and eight on this side of the barrier to do the best that we can to uh, practice social distancing in these classrooms we'll only be having two children per table so the one on this end and one on the other end so there'll be four tables on this side as well as four tables on the other side and as far as the toys that are already in here because of our academy program, we will actually be covering all those toys up um, and utilizing our own toys that'll be just for Woods Kids on Sundays. So those will be sanitized prior to the child coming that morning. And so as you can see over here on the other side of the barrier, we'll also be covering up the toys that the academy uses in here. Um, and the children will be, um, there'll be two, one on this side, one on the other um, to practice social distancing as much as we possibly can. And we'll do our best to keep children at those tables practicing social distancing as much as we possibly can um, with toddlers, of course, and, um, and having them play with specific toys, um, doing our best not to share um, and wiping off surfaces um, as much as we possibly can. Okay, now we will be doing a walkthrough of if your child is in our elementary program or our nursery. So, like I said previously, there will be a check-in kiosk right here. 
and that's where you will check in for your nursery child or your elementary child and then you will go up these stairs here. All right, and if you have a nursery child, you will be checking them in here at this room. This is room 223, and you will have your child drop off here. Remember, only one adult per household will be dropping off and picking up your child. This room, the capacity is six children, so we will be in this room for, um, for our morning. Like I said before in the previous videos for pre-K with the toys for the academy, we'll be covering up these toys and utilizing just our own toys that'll be sanitized and ready to go just for the Woods Kids program. And so in these, you will be having um, two children. We'll, again, social distancing will be kind of hard <laughs> in um, our programs, but we are gonna be doing the absolute best we can with our volunteers um, to be helping with um, social distancing. So um, two children at each of these tables, there'll be one additional table in here as well, and they will be in this room for our time. All right, and here we have the gym. This will be our elementary space in here during our time in these next several months for the time being. So children will be dropped off here, like I said previously, by one adult. This is the gym on the main level, room 230. And so they will be divided by, by grade level um, in different corners of the room. There'll be various stations, um, but we will all be in the same room will have um, some different activities that will be, of course, sanitized um, between services, nine o'clock service and our 1030 service as well. So you'll drop off your child here and then you will be good to go back down this hallway to the worship center to be seated. Parents, there are just a few things that we need you to know in regards to the drop off and pick up process. First, only one parent per household can be picking up or dropping off a child. If you have multiple children in various areas, it's totally fine for one parent to pick up one and um, someone pick up another, um, but not multiple parents picking up one child. We're gonna do our best to um, minimize the amount of people in our areas. Um, second, um, make sure you're wearing a face covering, whether that is a mask or a face shield. And make sure during that, um, that process where you are going up and down the hallways to stay six feet away from those who are also picking up their children as well. All right, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I hope that it was informational for you um, and that I answered any questions that you may have, have had. But if you do have any questions, any concerns, anything at all, please feel free to send me an email at emma, E-M-M-A, dot tates, T-A-E-T-S, at wooddale.org. And I'd love to answer those questions for you. But other than that, feel free to continue to attend um, and worship with us online. Otherwise, we have regathered at our Edina campus. Thank you so much to all who attended for our, our lawn um, service uh, this past weekend. It was wonderful to see so many wonderful faces. And we will be continuing to hold services at 9 o'clock and 11 these next couple of weeks. And in those services, we will be having just an element for kids, whether that's a worship song, um, a fun game for them to play during service, um, or anything like that. We'll also be having activity bags for the children as well. So like I said before, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but we hope that you have a great week and we hope to see you this weekend. Bye.